Hey guys, it's me, Trainman, and welcome back to the weekly timetable for the week of April 28th, 2013. And don't mind, something just occurred to me. I can put things directly behind me and you won't be able to see them. Um, <laughs> because the room is normally a lot messy than it, a lot messier than it looks when I record, because I kind of clean up a little bit, because I don't want to, you know, broadcast my pig's side of the world. This room is a little bit messier than it normally is anyways, because uh, we had company, and the company occupied my room, and I had to live in this one for a couple days. But, that aside, let's see what happened in the news of my channel this week, and I was not prepared. I have been playing a lot of Feed the Beast, and no, I probably won't record it, I'm sorry, it just doesn't have the performance to do it, and Optifine does not work with it. Huh. Unfortunate. But, on Monday we had a Train in the Black Desert, episode 10, Pickaxe! Where, um, <laughs> we get the third piece of cobblestone, if you remember, we got two last episode, and we got the third one this episode, so we get the pickaxes, mine up some cobble, and then set out on an epic adventure to go find iron, and then we turn around and come back, because we need more stuff. Um, <laughs> Uh, once again with J-Jet, my cousin, as the co-host. So if you guys like Super Hostile, go watch that. Um, oh, uh, another mod pack question on this episode, oh dear. Um, on Tuesday we had Train Man Plays Pursuers Locomotion, episode 76, Revenue Cargoes, where we, uh... I don't, we didn't actually build any operational lines yet, did we? No, we didn't. We just kind of thought about building operational lines that will transport uh, revenue cargoes like steel and plastic pellets and things. Uh, this is actually going to be my synopsis. Uh, that I realize that's what I'm going to do in the weekly timetable from now on. It's going to be a synopsis of uh, what what happened in the individual episodes in case you weren't sure if you wanted to watch them or I guess in case you didn't watch them and you aren't going to and you want to know what happened. Um, in On Wednesday, I mean, we had Homeworld 2 episode 20, Destroying All in Sight, where we wipe out CPU 2, uh, the, the guy, the tricksy guy who was hiding in the middle and then hiding underneath us and that we, uh, did a little back and forth with, they beat us a couple times, but we inevitably won the war. The only two computers left are the two Veggier computers, and we actually, we essentially wiped them out, but they're still out there somewhere. They have capital ships out there somewhere because they still have scouts that I can see, and we haven't quite won yet, so we have to go and look for them next episode. Um, and then on Friday we had the Zombie Train episode 20, Tamaros to Galgora. Part 9. Whoa, that was loud. That was a loud advertisement. Um, oh, I asked you guys what I should name the map, and you guys all gave me names of railroad companies, and two of them were actually Temeros Galgora and... Clan... Clan... What? Clan Fair? What? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> epic. Northern. Funny. Alright. Also, NASCAR TB. I was asking what kind of terrain. Not, not buildings. I mean, I asked a lot of questions and you gave me answers, which is what I wanted, no doubt. But, uh, my, my questions, sorry, I guess they must have been a little difficult to understand. Um, I should have, I should have definitely phrased them better. I should have asked what kind of terrain. And... Yeah, when I say name of the map, I mean, I guess I can do something like that, but I'm going to want to include more cities than just Temeros and Agora because the map is a lot bigger than just what I'm building right now, which you guys probably know if you watched uh, two episodes ago where I showed you guys... Oh, it's not behind me anymore. It's over there. Um, where I showed you guys the map of the map. Um, I mean, in that episode, we... we did a lot of terraining and then we did a lot of texturing, which I haven't done in a long time. I actually had a lot of fun with that. But I'm gonna have to design some more mismatchy textures to, um, to 
you know, get, get stuff done. In terms of other stuff, I did not touch my Xbox this, this week, which was probably not the smartest decision because my live expires in three days. And, I mean, after that, I mean, I can always go get another one, but in, in the back of my mind, I was, I was thinking, well, you should play a lot now, and then when it expires, you can just let it, let it be for a while, so that you're not paying immediately and then wasting more time, but whatever, I'm just going to let it expire, and then whenever I feel like playing again, I might go out and buy one, or I might just buy a card and save it. Who knows? Or I might look for a sale or something. Um, I mean, I'm not necessarily... I mean, no, it's Xbox 360 is what I have. It's going to be my primary console probably for a while, at least until, you know, Halo 5 or Battlefield 4. And, you know, with the way things are going, Battlefield 4 might be a release title. And either way, I'd probably want to get that for the PlayStation 4. I mean, I've looked at both. I mean, this, this what's being released about the um, the next box is is just, just getting out there. And I'm, I've only picked up bits and pieces, but... Uh, PlayStation 3 is, was always a very good console. I had a PlayStation 2, uh, and that was my first gaming anything. Um, and then I picked up the Xbox because I love Halo. Uh, and that's why I'm going to get the next box no matter what, because I'm going to want to play Halo. Um, but I want to get the PS4 otherwise because there's no subscription fee for the online. And in... The case that, I mean, I guess you can make the case that I should just get the next box so that um, the, the, the yearly that I pay for Xbox Live will be more efficiently used because I'll using, be using more games with it. But you could also argue that, well, Halo 5 isn't going to come out immediately. Do I really want to pay for uh, anything else that goes with the next box? if I can just get the PS4 and play with a bunch of my friends on the PS4, and then what if I get it for both? You know, there's, there's that option there, because I'd always love to have both so that... Because I have friends that I have PS3, and I have friends that have Xbox, and if I had both, my, my life would be a hell of a lot easier. Um, speaking of a hell of a lot easier, i got to say that uh, both the Xbox and the PS4 are switching over to using uh, Intel... I believe it was Intel or AMD or something, processors, but it's the same kind of processors that are used in PCs. So it'll make games a lot easier to code and cross-platform releases a lot easier and a lot more um, cost-effective. So maybe we'll see more cross-platform titles, especially the smaller things. It'll be easier to release them uh, cross-platform, whether they're downloadable or disk. Uh, I mean, downloadable stuff is always the cheaper stuff. Disc stuff seems to have, like, the flat rate of 60 bucks, which sucks. But, you know, I mean, you gotta think, like, two generations from now, two console generations from now, after the Xbox and the PS4, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox uh, 1080 or whatever, um, uh, we might not even have a disc drive. If, if you really think about it, we might not have one at all. Everything might be downloadable. And, you know, I'm, I'm all for that, but that brings about the problem of then you always have to be plugged into the Internet if you want to get a game. And, I mean, not necessarily always plugged in, but if you're downloading a game, like a full game, it's going to take a while, and then you're really going to want to have a good connection. And, I, yeah, I know there were the rumors about the uh, always online thing, which, you know, ruined SimCity 5. And, um, what was the other one? Diablo 3 had the issue with that, too. And I, I see why they're advocating for it, and I see definitely the drawbacks of it, and how it wouldn't be that smart to, you know, go go ahead with it. But, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I personally don't have a problem with it, because I feel my connection is very reliable, but I feel for the people who will have a problem with it, especially if they choose to go or who would have a problem with it. Excuse my manner of speaking. Um, but this is my rambling. I should save this for an episode where of something else where I'm not really talking about anything. It just popped into my mind now. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. 
on another note, I have a half day of school tomorrow. So I have first three periods, and I get to come right back here and make that uh, Black Desert for you guys, which may or may not happen immediately because of I'm dependent on my cousin's schedule now. So, um, excuse me. Oh, for all you Doctor Who fans, last night I watched Journey to the Center of the TARDIS, <laughs> which the name alone made me laugh. But then, oh, that episode was, it was a good episode. I, I liked, I liked it. Not to say, it was a very good episode. Um, very, very spooky. I mean, I don't know, it had some really weird twists that, I don't know, weren't really necessary. I mean, it did, did a hell of a lot for explanation, and it, uh, it added a lot more to it, but they weren't really necessary. But, you know, it adds more depth to the episode, which is really nice. And, um, hope, if any of you Doctor Who fans haven't heard this yet, the next, or the season finale of this season is called The Name of the Doctor, and I'm not sure, I mean, we all know what that alludes to, but I'm not, I don't know. First of all, written by Moffat, so I have no idea how this is going to go, because he did the, uh, the Impossible Astronaut and all that, and led us to believe that the Doctor was dead, and this, that, and the other. Spoilers. Um... So I don't know how he's going to pull this one, but I have no doubt it's going to be an amazing episode and an excellent season finale. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this somewhat long weekly timetable. Trying that out. I missed the button.